So this story, as we're diving into yet again, there's another assassination attempt. We just reported the breaking story that was coming out. Um, it'd be a good time to tell you this story, too, that Melania, the wife and former first lady of Donald Trump, uh, made this video out that got a lot of attention about her grievances and stress and emotion and and just the fear of the fact that her husband was almost killed on stage, which is is appropriate reaction. It's appropriate reaction. The fact that your husband was almost at his at his death on stage campaigning and how there seems to be this cons- uh, conspiring of not doing an investigation on this attempt. It seems too convenient. It seems that there's more to the story that they're trying to hide under the bed. And there could be coercion between the Secret Service, the FBI, the intelligence agencies to allow this to occur. It it seems so obvious to people. It seems, you know, keen observation to point that out. So Melania made this video. And guess who mocked it? Don Lemon. Don Lemon, former anchor of CNN, now doing his show on X or whatever platform he's uh, allowed to be on because pretty much Don Lemon is useless in the media sphere. He's he's pretty much done. He has killed his own reputation with his own stupidity and uh, lies and, and misinformation. And not the misinformation that he's trying to track down onto you. I mean, the fact that he is a notorious liar himself. So it says Don Lemon mocked Melania for being stressed and hurt by the attempt on her husband's life. He since deleted this video. So after mocking, as you're about to see here, he did a little TikTok stunt, uh, just like the kids are doing these days, doing a reaction TikTok. And. This shows the utter the, the the utter stupidity and the utter just horrendousness of Don Lemon when even even your political opponents, even even someone you just you can't even have this human connection to understand that she is worried for her husband's life. If this was anybody else in the world, would you have that same reaction? Would you have that same reaction? How about if it was a parent of a of a child that died in a school shooting? Would you have the same reaction? So here's here's what went down with this. The attempt to end my husband's life was a horrible, distressing experience. Now the silence around it feels heavy. Did you see did you see his face? First first off, the fact they started this TikTok video with what this is what is this the fact that he's mocking the video he's mocking the video of melania openly speaking about how there was an assassin trying to murder her husband and you're trying to openly mock that and say what is this how crazy and delusional this lady is for having emotional grief having stress about the fact that her family is in danger. And again, regardless of how you feel about any of these individuals, regardless, that's not the point. That's not the point. But Don Lemon, Don Lemon really shows how low, how rock bottom he can dig himself with this absolute stupid TikTok. That has now been deleted because people caught up to this and realized what a an, an asshole this guy is. A complete asshole. Look at the it. attempt to end my husband's life was a horrible. He rolled his eyes. He rolled his eyes when Melania said there was an assassination attempt on my husband. He rolled his eyes at the fact that you are that the fact that she is stating that someone tried to murder someone tried to murder my husband on stage and Don Lemon rolls his eyes. Wow. 
you know, I know this guy is already a sick bastard to begin with, but I he couldn't even get lower than he was already. And you and you and and now you understand why everybody, everybody is just pissed off and done with Don Lemon. He he is the lemon of broadcasting. He he is the absolute lemon of broadcasting from his days of misreporting COVID and lying about that and covering up, you know, on the behest of big pharmaceuticals to lying about just uh, Jesse Smollier, that uh, that attack that never happened, covering for that story, covering up for the rest of the establishment, and then pushing propaganda uh, to, Malo- to, 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 to go after Donald Trump, comparing him to Adolf Hitler and stuff. It's just diabolical, this guy is. Distressing experience. Now, the silence around it feels heavy. I can't help but wonder, why didn't law enforcement officials arrest the shooter before the speech? Oh my there God. is definitely more to this story, and we need to uncover the truth. I, I can't... Why? why? Why would Don Lemon even do this? Why would Don, does he like ruining his reputation? Does he like ruining himself with his own stupidity? Is that, is that his pleasure? Does he get, does does he get a fetish from this? How the hell you have the nerve? How the hell do you have the, the audacity to openly mock the former first lady in, in in, in distressed? having an emotional breakdown of the fact that her husband and her life are in jeopardy because of all these assassination attempts that no one is investigated. Maybe do some journalism, Don Lemon, and actually figure out why it's not being investigated. You piece of shit asshole. Like, this is... This is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane, disgusting, grotesque, this is this is the full force of Trump derangement syndrome. This is Trump derangement syndrome on steroids to the next level. Like this should be called to some sort of facility. They should send him to Betty Ford or uh, one of the mental asylums on just how cringeworthy that was. So. Don Lemon. <laughs> Don Lemon has always had a very, very interesting past. As I said, he lied about uh, COVID and ivermectin. He lied about uh, Joe Rogan to cover up for big pharmaceuticals. He lied about the Juicy Smollett case. He lied about January 6th. He's lied about his entire career. It's nothing more than pathological lies. And when people were starting to actually report that and investigate the lies that Don Lemon was reporting, and clap back on Don Lemon being a pathological liar, uh, he had to retaliate on censorship. He wanted to double down on censorship to say that we need to eliminate my competitors because people are ruining my reputation. So when he got fired from CNN, by the way, he got fired. Guess how he, he got fired from CNN because he called Nikki Haley Pastor Prime. As you may recall, while he, while he had two female co-anchors, like if, if this guy wasn't a more brainless, um, a chicken could easily beat him at checkers. Like th- this is how clueless Don Lemon is. He had two female anchors hosting a morning show on CNN, and he said that because Nikki Haley was fifty or fifty-one at the time, Don Lemon proclaimed, just blurted out there that she was past her prime. That women apparently are past their prime once they hit, you know, 45 or whatever. How stupid can you be to say that while you have two female co-anchors, and even the two female co-anchors uh, clapped back at him and said, what the hell are you talking about? What the hell are you past what prime? How stupid are you? So here's Don Lemon 
interviewing Elon Musk after Elon Musk accept him onto X to start his own show. Elon Musk accepted Don Lemon to be on a show, even though Don Lemon hates Elon Musk, absolutely hates Elon Musk. And he hates Elon Musk because Elon Musk isn't censoring more people, even though he got invited on to do a show on X by Elon Musk. This is, again, how stupid these people really are is absolutely amazing. So here's Don Lemon doubling down on how we need more censorship to Elon Musk, the guy who gave him a chance to have a show on X. We don't agree on this. Yes, you want censorship and I don't. No, I don't want censorship at Yes, all. you do. No, I want responsibility. I think there is, I think there... You desperately want censorship. No, if I want a censorship... You want censorship so bad you can taste it. No, that's not true. It's not true. I <laughs> think that there's right and wrong. No, no, that's not, that's not, that's not true. That's not true. <laughs> that's, that's not true. I, I just, I just want a, a responsible speech, you know, responsible. Like, like if someone tells me that ivermectin isn't horse uh, dewormer and actually is uh, an effective medicine used in treatments to cure, uh, to help cure cancer and is award winning medicine done by a uh, Pulitzer Prize. Oh, uh, I, I, I can't, I can't report on that. I, I don't want that word to get out. But I want the word for, you know, harmful injections into into human bodies. You know, that kind of responsibility. I don't want people talking about peace. I want to hear the military industrial complex pledging for more war. That's kind of responsible, right? <laughs> for censorship. <laughs> oh God. Why why are we why are we why why are you cut, cutting me up on this? Uh, uh, uh. And, and I think that, what says and I and I think that when you have a platform that's as big as yours and as powerful as yours and as influential as yours, and you are a person who, of consequence to the world with what you do, that there is a certain responsibility that goes along with what you have on your platform and what you put out to the world, and I, I think that's important. You don't see that responsibility. Um, I think the we have a responsibility to uh, adhere to the law, um, and if people want the law changed, they should. Talk to, elect- talk to their elected representative and get the law changed, and then we will adhere to the law. Okay. But if you want us to go b- beyond the law, that is, that is uh, us deciding to be t- censors. So, and I'm against censorship. I'm, I'm in favor of freedom of speech. Yeah. And freedom of speech only is relevant. <laughs> you hear Don Lemon. Yeah, I know. Freedom of speech, Constitution, equal rights, civil justice. Ugh. I, I, just, I just want my, I want my haters to go away. God, like, how stupid can you be? How how stupid and ignorant can you be to have a show on X and then bring on the guy, the the, the former of X, Elon Musk, the guy that bought Twitter and made it a little bit better by opening the doors a bit on free speech and then criticize him about free speech. How dare you let people on this platform, this big monumentous platform that's so influential I, I thank you for getting me on but why would you let other people get on wow this guy this guy is a beyond hilarious insane pathetic character like i feel like i feel like don lemon is like one of those comic relief characters you see on Looney Tune cartoons like you I, I, I you know he's there for the laughs he's there for the utter stupidity because he's not there for the journalism he's not there for actually giving you facts he's there to make you laugh at the fact that this is what they call journalists this is this is how they classify journalists that you go on complain about free speech to the guy that's willing to give you a platform and then lie your entire career, everything from ivermectin to COVID to Juicy Smollier to uh, everything in between. Make yourself a pathological liar for all these years <laughs> and then get fired from CNN to do a show on X and then complain about X being you know, too powerful and corrupted because all these people are able to talk amongst themselves. 
Oh, my God. How dare we have conversations? Freedom of speech. Ha. That's just too much for me to handle. I don't want the haters to to see what I'm doing. I don't want to read, you know, mean tweets. Yeah. Um, and I just want to show this because Jimmy Dore, Jimmy Dore puts this tweet out and I think it's perfectly sums up on the absolute hypocrisy, which I know like the, this shows how theatrical all this is. It shows how theatrical the hatred for Trump and the reason they're all, their only reason they're doing this is for the careers. It's good for the establishment. It's good for the status quo to hate Donald Trump. But in the end, they were all friends. They are all friends. They all get together. They all went to the same country clubs, went to weddings. Uh, Trump's kids are, you know, friends of the Clinton kids and the Biden kids. It's all for show, folks. So the establishment and late night comedians loved Donald Trump for decades. NBC gave him his own television network show for over 10 years, and Hollywood gave him Emmy nominations. When he no longer served the establishment, they painted him as Hitler to get you to keep voting for neocon warmongers, tools of Wall Street. America is run by a handful of billionaires and the blob, not by politicians. Your democracy was stolen years, decades ago, and cover up with nonstop corporate propaganda and the country falls for it, hook, line, and sinker. We're at the end stage of the Republic now. We're bankrupting ourselves with imperialism and war while hollowing out our own country and destroying the middle class. Yet the corporations can still easily get you to cheer on the destruction of your own country by filling you with hate for the boogeyman named Donald Trump. Bingo. There you go, folks. And here's just proof of it with Stephen Colbert. Stephen Colbert, who had on Donald Trump before he campaigned, before he was just getting into the world of politics. Stephen Colbert w- wished him to go on to his late night crap, crap talk show. Listen to this. And uh, I want to thank resume. you not only for being here. I want to thank you for running for president. <laughs> So we got a great show for you tonight. Donald Trump is here. Yeah. Everybody loves him. Everybody loves There's him. no other way to say it. Ladies and gentlemen, Donald Trump. Who got the So there you go. Everybody loved him, including Stephen Colbert. But now, because it, it's harmful to the establishment, harmful to the status quo, they didn't realize that Donald Trump, you know, was a little bit outside the box. They had to eliminate him. They had to do everything they can to undermine him, including the fact that you can see underneath here, CBS deleted this entire episode from their website, and you can't even find this on YouTube. But yet they're all buddy, buddy. That's how I know this is all theatrical. This is all bullshit. And the only reason they hate Trump, not because he governs differently or does anything, you know, out extremely outside the norms, except for maybe, you know, calling out what we're actually doing in Syria or shaking the hands of Kim Jong-un and hopefully a peace deal. That was the first thing, like, miraculous thing I've ever seen a president do in my lifetime was actually negotiate to stop a war. You don't see that a lot. Or even going on to debate stage and Trump saying that we need to end these wars because we don't want to kill more lives. That That's something miraculous because you don't ever hear that from politicians ever. But because he is a little bit outside the edges, because he colors outside the lines just a tad, They have to completely eliminate him. And that is why 
the Trump derangement syndrome has gone so far that they can't even see their own hypocrisy. They can't even see how stupid they're doing. And all this does is exposes how awful and disgusting they are. It shows how how deranged people like Stephen Colbert are. When he invited Donald Trump on to his talk show, everybody loved him and now making corny jokes at the behest of the establishment. How pathetic that is. How pathetic that is for comedy. Or Don Lemon mocking the former first lady because she's crying her eyes out about an assassination attempt on her husband. What kind of sick, twisted mind insanity that is. And you can see it all wrapped. There's hundreds of videos of Trump being adored by the establishment, Trump being absolutely beloved by even his worst haters, the people of The View, talk show hosts, late night comics, Saturday Night Live. He went. Go- he, he attended the, the, the wedding. The Clintons attended his wedding, for God's sakes. Hillary Clinton told him to run. She told him to run, which is the reason you got Donald Trump in the first place. I It just baffles my mind to see these creances in, in the Hollywood world, in corporate television, in corporate media, and, 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 and beyond, just exposing how 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 brainless they are being warped by this Trump derangement syndrome so badly that they can't even comprehend how it uh, all this is exposing themselves and just making themselves even worse to the public image. Like whatever reputation Stephen Colbert had back in the day is gone. Whatever Don Lemon reputation, what little he had left is gone. Any reputation that these, and you wonder why people don't trust mainstream media. You wonder why people stop watching the news. You wonder why late night comic shows like, like the late show here are tanking. Nobody's watching it because they know how pathetic and stupid and hypocritical these people are. They know that it's all just a scam. It's all just a giant scheme because they're all kissing out to the establishment so hard that they're exposing their own hypocrisy right in front of you. And they have to cover up the hypocrisy by mass censorship which is why Don Lemon wants it so badly because they don't want word to get out of how awful and just absolutely brainless this the guy is.